Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, you Canadian schmoboy, Canuckistanian fuck. Happy birthday to you. All right, so this is the first in asshole consulting. Some guys decided to bust their buddy's balls, who's kind of a viewer of the show, show, channel. And they wanted to be just, to, they, this is it. They want, this is their birthday gift to their buddy. This is, this is good. This is what guys do. Dear Cappy Cap, please keep me anonymous. It's my friend's 25th birthday today. I decided to request a video from you as a gift him, as everybody should, because if everybody did that, then I'd make a lot of money. And as we all know, it's not his day, it's my day. Uh, please refer to him as Coco as frequently as possible in the response. Keep in mind, just hearing you read some of this will be funny enough for us to make the video worthwhile. I want to click a quick analysis on him and his position in life. And he sent a picture of him. He's oh, a bunch of pictures. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He looks hairy. You got a picture of uh, Jeremiah Johnson. Oh, who was that? Oh, that's um. Oh, what's the actor's name? Robert Redford. What did he play? Woodsman Willie or or uh, Rocky Mountain Phil. What is the name of that? Jer Jeremiah something. Jeremiah Jones. It's one of those seventies films that my dad liked. <clears throat> 25-year-old male programmer earns about 80,000 Canadian, which is $3.76 U.S. a year since 2017 when he landed a job after finishing his undergrad at a place. All right. Very good. Very frugal, except on the quality food. I'll go with him on that. Uh, I'll go with him on that, um, only because I didn't get to eat a lot of food back in the day, and I will get good food. Life is too short for bad food. Recently bought an apartment or townhouse for $450,000 with 20% down. In a Vancouver suburb, I know, I know that's in Canada. I know he says Canada, not Washington suburb, where we all live. That's great. He see, he's renting to his buddies. I had a buddy who did that now, and his house is bought and paid for. Got it. He's you know, small little decisions like that. Like I'm going to buy a house, and all you assholes are going to rent for me. Um, and my buddy then sold. I sold at the peak of the market, <laughs> and he bought his new house at the bottom of the market. <laughs> He's like, dude, it's just luck, man. And, uh, but he did. Well, oh, those are good times. I mean, we would go over there and we would rent. Uh, or not rent. We'd just get hammered. Um, it was great. It was it was good old times. Those are great old times. Uh, where are we? The Coco, 30-minute one-way work. Hence the car just, wait. He has a 30, 40-minute commute to work, hence the car he just bought for around 18000 A low mileage Japanese shit box. Wow, 18000 that's pricey. The Korean shit boxes are way cheaper and just as good. I don't know how, Co I don't know Coco's IQ, but he's probably in the top 10% of the population, I would guess. I'd say higher. Programmer, you're up there. You're already, I'd say top 5% right there, and I'm not trying to kiss his ass, but then if he like buys a condo and rents to you, that's, it's, um, Rare behavior. I'd say he, he's in the top five. Easy. Very good work ethic. Doesn't socialize much. Family oriented. Risk averse. Six feet tall. Athletic build. Not too ugly. <laughs> See, yeah, he isn't. He, but he looks like he comes from. He looks like he's an Eastern European descent. He just looks a little. Ugh, we get borscht. Have your baklava. Even though that's a Middle Eastern dish. Uh. Despite the formal attire, Coco wears pretty much the same jean shorts and company t-shirt every time we see him. A true software engineer. It's like a, like a Japanese animation character. It's always the same. You know, Spike Spiegel always had the blue jacket with the yellow and the black tie. Says he won't be friends with fat people on sheer principle. Hey, well, well, how, are you, how are we picking on this guy? What's wrong with that? He's the kind of guy that buys a screwdriver at Home Depot and returns it after using it once to fix something at home. Then tells us about it later. Okay, so he, he obviously has a way to go in valuing his time. Despite this, I believe him to be a pretty moral person overall, at least one on one. He likes to use the following quote sometimes, survival of the fittest boys. Survival of the fittest boys. The way she goes, trailer park reference for the Canadians. 
Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Arbite mocked Fry. It, he, yes, I know what it means. I studied basic World War II history. He's very focused on working money in what seems to be an effort to retire or reduce work in the long run as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. As far as I can tell, he spends little to no time on girls. Okay, he's in the top 1% then. There's the Banalazia and Nurturevert and Afraid. He's a good looking guy. He's in shape. Um, but I, maybe he just paid attention to me. He said, fuck this shit. I'm, I, I, I'm very curious. I'd be very curious. You, you basically have a prime candidate for husband material here, for marriage material. How many girls stand him up, won't give him the time of day? <laughs> I bet you he could tell a story like, yeah, there's this girl. I say, hey, how you doing? Yeah. I, and they, they, this is, oh. You know what you guys should do? This is what you should do. You guys could make some money on a YouTube channel or just one video where you, you rig them up with microphone and film them and all that and just film them hitting on girls and you could have like a sign pointed at them guy makes six figures guy has his own plays da 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 network da 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 and just watch him get shot down by girl after girl uh, my guess is that the time and effort required to get laid here is too much a pain in the ass and generally not worth the hassle for him no he's got opportunity costs when you're making $10 an hour shit yeah when you're making $40 an hour shit no I introduced him to your videos a while back and he found a lot of overlap in mentality but just watches for entertainment. In several areas, he also disagrees with you. Climate change, certain politics, and nuking Vietnam. Who wanted to I didn't want to nuke Vietnam. What did, what do I, when did I, where was that policy? And don't worry, he'll grow up. He'll, he'll realize just like everything else he was lied to about teachers, guidance counselors, and professors, climate change, which in my day was called, well, in my day, we called it the ozone layer, but then they changed, and, and even before that, it was global cooling. Then it became the ozone layer, then it became global warming, and then right when you guys are growing pubes, it was climate change, because it wasn't warming, they had to change it. But that's all right. Uh, if that's not enough content to make a video, please see below, otherwise that's it. Um... I guess he fucked up buying property near Vancouver. No, I know you guys are the California, California of Canada. The exp he could afford that expensive car. It didn't help. He could have gotten something easy, like four or five grand. He mentioned the idea of dropping everything and moving to Moldova or some shitty country equivalent because life here was now secure and boring. This was 100% a joke, but the boredom is real. Yeah, no, I, I could see it. I mean, look, the United States, we got our... We got our normies, conformies, and inferiors. Uh, but my God, Canada. Some of the thought shit, like you guys are actually going to codify and legalize uh, pronouns. <laughs> Z, sir, and if you don't say it's a fireable offense, you go to spend jail time. All right. I can see him going to Eastern Europe. He's planning a trip to Southeast Asia soon, but fines, overall fines travel a huge pain in the ass. Yes, yes. Things, some things are difficult, especially flying across the Pacific. I'm surprised he's even going after our last trip. Thinks he wants to visit Utah and some other parts of the U.S. the year, but that's much easier. Well, let's you just drive there. Dude, go to Castlegar and Sycamus and Revelstoke. It's right there. Get sick of people or places pretty quickly. Short bursts are okay. He once agreed that an accurate description of himself was the kind of guy to get sick of himself. Yep. Guarantee his IQ is up there. Watches sports such as soccer and MMA pretty actively, surprisingly. I don't understand. So I can see MMA, but soccer, my God, dude. Um, they're just kicking the ball back and forth. That's it. The, the, no, John McClane gets out of Nakatomi Plaza. Jews escape e uh, in, uh, English, Egypt, and those guys just kick the ball back and forth. Nothing happens. It's the same thing. Same outcome. Thanks. Let me know how much money I owe you. I owe you. He is a good friend, and you want to remain anonymous. All right. Well, there you go. Happy birthday, Coco. What do you get, Coco? Uh, and I hope this birthday gift was really worth it. I even broke out the fucking high-end gear, the light, the fucking microphone, the fucking high-end camera. Jesus, you know how long it's going to take this to upload? All right, that's it. Questions, answers. Or you want me to do a birthday video? Fuck yeah. AssholeConsulting.com. We'll see you all later. Toodles.